Uh, this is more about the Lenovo laptop and this time I'm not going to only expose the stuff I have written about on my news site also times on how yeah, let's say yesterday when I called the company Lenovo in the US I was told that actually this is not any computer laptop from Renew program but this actually is computer that is already a, with expired warranty uh, it's already year and something that passed by since this computer was sold uh, this is not precisely what I want to want to talk about this stuff I want to talk about the real stuff I want to talk about MK Ultra stuff there is much stuff stuff I have not even written about on my new site how much I have not written about on my new site let's put it this way on MK Ultra, when subjected, they condition you with thousands of issues. And, you know, many of those issues, and actually many of them, really, really many, are made, were made in a such a way that was always a clause inside. But you are not going to say this because you are going to be a paranoid. So it's basically like calling you stupid, like a retarded, you know, kind of way, like indirectly, like suggesting like you're a retard, you are a retard, look what I'm doing to you, you are a retard, and this stuff goes on, in my case went on for no less than eight years. Now you can imagine that lots of stuff accumulates over the period of eight years, when they do this stuff to you with such intensity, Within the eight years, there's a lot of stuff they do it. And so, what I have not written about on my news site is that Mr. Mitya Weber, as I have suggested, have not only suggested me that if I purchase computer from the internet, what will happen is... Um, He's going to get one before it gets to me and will do something with a computer and this and that. What he said is he basically suggested that he got two versions. One version was that he's going to do something to the computer. Second version, and that might be the case, I don't know. Second version was what I'm going to do is I'm going to puncture the screw on the laptop. The third version was also severe threat was definitely will do something to it and if I'm not gonna do something be capable to do something to that computer what's gonna happen is it's gonna go back because I'm gonna cause some kind of uh, hardware failure something or something like this so basically I'm gonna trash you your item and you're gonna repeat buying that item till you're gonna get Till I will get one that I want to do to one, and then you're gonna be it's gonna be delivered to you. This were the words to me. This was the promise to me. But there was a little bit more to it. I did not talk about. Individual from whom I have purchased the computer was actually here in this house under MK Ultra. This individual at first did not agree to cooperate in any way uh, with something that would basically violate the law but quite soon after he got I understand that's what I was told the version changed uh, the version changed uh, you know into if uh, you know, I would get something like this. He got actually, according to him alone, assurance from some uh, court official, from some judge, from something like this. He was talking about the judges. Now it will be done to you. And he said, the only thing that's going to happen is we're going to give you a laptop. We're going to give you a, a new laptop and that's going to be it. That's going to be the only thing that's going to happen, but it's going to take a lot of time. But what you can do is you can go ahead and you can ship us the laptop and get the money back and stuff like this. In a little bit, I'm going to play you also uh, an audio how he believed he's going to 
ridicule me fool me I'll explain everything to you. right now it sounds kind of unbelievable but I'm gonna get to the details exactly how the hell that was done okay number one mr. Mitya Weber that is husband of my niece he was the one who got these things done he it was not it was not even this individual that sold me the computer but individual who sold me the computer this individual who knows very well the law in Slovenia this is a big store this is a big ass store uh, and alone have admitted me yesterday that renew program in Slovenia is basically requires from the company if one is to be sold as renew um, for the customer to return one within eight days of purchase back to the um, company and then computer would be inspected repaired if needed and so on and placed back on the market and so on okay fact of the matter is that with this individual owner of the company I believe it was the owner of the company he later on called again with some other issues and so on he was like basically kind of laughing at me and have suggested that uh, it's not in the US uh, the same thing renew program and stuff like this and so when I asked him I said where are we right now are we in the US or are we in Slovenia or American laws that are applying to Slovenia Slovenian market how is that how that operates according to you so he would not give any answers and stuff like this and started to suggest me what kind of rights do I have that I can go and I can ship it to him back and stuff like this and there's not a problem and stuff like this and you know what I did was I uh, I just stopped him right there and I have just reminded him of MK Ultra. Uh, under MK Ultra, this individual have conspired against me together with the Mitya Weber. Mitya Weber have suggested and have laughed at me. He was laughing at me. And he suggested to me his uh, all the time. But it's always it always looks like a coincidence, but it always looks like a coincidence. And it's gonna be this, it's gonna be that. In a little bit, we're gonna go to the phone telephone operators in the ter territory of Slovenia. We can talk about that stuff as well. It's always a coincidence. It's always a coincidence. So he cannot prove and he cannot this and he have basically in other words I would have to tolerate and be quiet about it, which I will not. Mr. Mitya Weber was very, very uh, educational. Yeah, he didn't mind to explain that never buy from the companies which also have a services he suggested because when you buy from the companies which have a services it's a very high possibility that they're gonna do something to your computer I mean this is like how can I say on one occasion Mr. Mitya Weber now this is a doctor in science in electro engineering or something like this I don't know this individual had me with my own laptop like this and was going and was really driving me insane listen uh, showing me my own laptop with I believe it was an Android microscope and was suggesting me how he is inspecting the laptop for me then we have other occasions where he suggested that he trashed one and stuff like this um, on this in respect to this individual he was giving again totally other bizarre uh, gestures individual have obtained some sort of uh, protectorat I don't know how you say that protection from court officials here in Slovenia basically uh, a guarantee basically uh, I don't even know how you would say like a uh, garant this is nothing is gonna go against you don't worry don't worry in the worst case scenario we're gonna give you we're gonna give you a new computer this is how it was I know it's not gonna be this way because you know why because this is a conspiracy this is a plot 
that adds to everything else and I definitely am talking about one today and I'm definitely going to use and I definitely state that that individual and I'm not going to say only I was stalked on the internet individual was used for this computer he used this computer to push one they, I was looking for a specific type of computer on the internet with the processor AMD such and such um, RAM and so on because this is specific processor 4 threads uh, 8 gigabyte RAM at least and stuff like this and I was looking for it for about a week when finally this computer popped up went ahead and have purchased one and so uh, because of this stuff I'm gonna involve the police not only because he totally lied about how this computer um, and he lied about everything that this is practically this was a new computer according to his words that's what he gestured me and he tried to confuse me on on an issue per uh, you know where uh, about the renew program itself and stuff like this it just basically every word he stated is was a lie that's all there was and so what, what we're gonna do now instead of that I still believe it was Mr. Mitya Weber actually I believe that the only thing that have happened to the computer was actually that he punctured one but then again I can again not help myself not to find out if this specific computer this is the question that I have and this is going to be the question that somehow I will find the answer to uh, with new installation with brand new installation of the Windows 7 on the computer like this it totally makes me wonder uh, whether the computer would have already uh, you know integrated in Windows 7 would have the option to connect to the internet which Slovenian Lenovo would not give me the answer yesterday they would not answer to that question uh, and uh, nor would American Lenovo answer to this to that question uh, practically you would have to somewhat uh, it's possible download uh, drivers even for the for the Ethernet for the LAN connection but I still doubt about that it doesn't prove anything I'm just curious about it because in case that you don't need to download this that actually has a meaning it has a meaning that somebody was playing also with the laptop that something was done to the laptop because if the only thing I get was uh, you know no Wi-Fi no uh, um, no um, Ethernet LAN only uh, uh, what was a Bluetooth radio controller uh, that actually kind of a makes me wonder why would the Bluetooth radio controller be in but everything else would fail uh, it makes me wonder because Mr. Mitya Weber uh, played a lot he trashed this computer totally he totally turned the brand new computer into garbage and have talked to me about under MK Ultra how there is going to be garbage inside of this computer that is going to send signal up to 100 meters they'll be able to see the stuff I do on the computer and stuff like this basically total trash uh, that's why this is how now what I'm going to do is obviously that I'm going to push a little bit more than just some kind of a consumer complaint against this individual I'm going to push straight against this individual criminal charges and I would love to know nothing more than who was the judge about whom this guy was talking about because from the beginning this owner of the company would not even you know what he suggested I'm going to I'm going to repeat to you the words from under MK Ultra about this guy he suggested he said that he, he the, the worst thing that can happen to him would be to lose the license you see I don't even know anything about this stuff but when I remember when I remind myself of MK Ultra I'm going to repeat to you the words his words that would be the worst thing would be that he would lose uh, some kind of license but then it would be again that he would again open another one or something like this in that sense and so I remember the individual very good uh, Mr. Mitya Weber have a 
local shop here that basically it's where he purchased the stuff for himself the stuff especially that doesn't want other people to know that he has he goes in there to actually do the stuff so people don't know the stuff he does or has other people to do the stuff for him and it looks like this is yet another individual it's like a criminal network in Slovenia that is like uh, they kind of uh, operate with one another so in respect to this individual there's gonna be a little bit more than just uh, you know damage for the lost time uh, you know that I lost because of this computer and so on and so forth uh, that I plan on opening today today the police actually is gonna come here because they gotta they gotta look for this garbage for this micro cameras I don't want this stuff anymore here uh, obviously that I'm gonna talk to them about the stuff that's happening and I want them to come here because if I go to the police station and that's what they have suggested me if you go to the police station what's gonna happen is by the time you come back these cameras are gonna be gone so we're gonna do it this way Preventiva bolje kot kurativa pravio. And now what I will do is first I'm going to play you a Lenovo factory, uh, actually a Lenovo technical support conversation talk we had yesterday I had uh, with this lady from Lenovo was very nice. Um, but you know again she wouldn't state that uh, you know in respect to uh, Windows 7 installation and stuff like this she wouldn't go and give me exact preci precise information uh, you're gonna be able to hear yourself that uh, after she checked uh, with uh, Lenovo system uh, serial number it popped up that computer already came out of the warranty it's already a year old and stuff like this then if you want uh, in Slovenian language you will be able to hear about this individual that he just want to look like a pathetic liar and bully you know this is bullying because he believes that it was one of those but you're not going to be able to say this basically calling me a dummy you are a dummy basically throwing in me stuff and calling me a dummy basically well i am gonna say precisely what I have stated it's a police report I'm gonna make against the individual against the Mitya Weber and we're gonna go from there and we're gonna see who's gonna be able to prove what and how by the way individual who installed micro cameras because he wanted to look like outstanding because he because there were so such a high officials involved in it was Mr. Mitya Weber too so this individual is got himself in a quite deep uh, situation so we're gonna see how this is gonna develop anyways now uh, in English first uh, regarding the laptop and then in Slovenian and uh, that's all there is for this video yes of course ma'am uh, first good day to you ma'am Hello. Uh, good day to you, ma'am. Uh, I would like to ask you a question, please. Uh, it's really like easy question. I got a brand new laptop here, Lenovo uh, Z50-75. And I was just trying to install myself a Windows 7. Uh, that will be 64-bit Ultimate. And I did succeed in doing so, except that I had a very strange situation and that situation is the sort of first time I see I have a laptop I'm not capable to connect myself to uh, internet to the cable in other words LAN or Ethernet I don't have actually adapters for like cable internet for wireless and uh, a whole bunch is like uh, things are missing but I do have a Bluetooth radio controller now that's kind of strange to me. It's like, is this like a normal procedure for the Lenovo or, I mean, this is a pretty good computer and kind of strange that Windows 7 64-bit uh, would not have this kind of option. I mean, I, this never happened to me. The truth is, this is the first time I have a Lenovo, though. Okay, so, stay 
Corey, sorry for your concern. Um, you mentioned that you're trying to install Windows 7. So are you trying to change the operating system of your machine? Yeah, uh, absolutely, because uh, I'm going to explain to you something. The computer, uh, computer which I bought came from the program, from the Renew program. And the thing about it is that uh, the computer had Windows 10 installed as an operating system, which according to the factory uh, settings, not even supposed to be the case. Uh, it was... Uh, Windows 8.1 that should be installed on the laptop. The second thing that I had noticed was that uh, the screw from the motherboard, the main screw uh, which is otherwise sealed, uh, that seal was actually broken too. And so it was from the program renew, but I mean this is kind of strange. That's why I mentioned, that's why I asked if it's like normal procedure that the only thing I would have would be like a uh, Bluetooth radio controller installed as a communication method. I mean, this is kind of strange. That's why, you know, I'm just saying this because I, I'm really I'm not really sure about this. Somebody th did put something else inside of my laptop. That's one thing. And the second thing is, I mean, this is like the first laptop in my lifetime that would not allow me to uh, install like Windows 7 64-bit Ultimate that would not have actually internet access and stuff like this cable access it's kinda strange okay, uh, let, let's just say drivers are missing okay from all this uh, features from from the cable from the Ethernet lawn and also from the wireless it's, it's kinda strange I mean is this like a normal thing yeah, by the way, I'm really sorry to hear, sir, if ever you're having an issue with No, no, thank mind. you very much for taking better. time. Thank you. you. Thank you very much for you taking time. Can I give you a serial number? I absolutely can give you a serial number. The serial number would be um, P like Peter, F like Foxtrot, and then it's a 0, 1, K like Kmart, G like Golf, Again, P like Peter and H like a hotel hostel. All right, thank you, sir. So let me just repeat the serial number you provided. So that's P as in Peter, F as in Fred, zero one, K as in Kelly, G as in George, P as in Peter, H as in Kimmy. Am I right? Uh, I think you're right, but uh, I did I did place computer away from me. So could you please repeat again? Sorry about that. Uh, okay, so that your device, I mean, the serial number of your computer, that's P as in Peter, F as in Fred, 0, 1, K as in Kelly, G as in George, P as in Peter, H as in Henry. Um, basically, uh, basically, it's PF01, because I haven't heard you clearly, so I apologize. Uh, again, uh, PF01, K, G, P, H. Okay, thank you so much. So I think thank I you have very the much. right laptop. And the device that you have is a C50-75 laptop, right? Uh, excuse me, ma'am, please. How? Okay, again, the device that you have is a C50-75 laptop, right? Yeah, it's a Z50-75. Uh, okay. Okay, and based on the information that I can see here, your device, um... It is already out of warranty, sir, um, since uh, December of last year, correct? Um, I have no clue. I just bought one uh, from the program, Renewed Program. That's all I know. It's brand new. I have used one for one day. At least this is what I was told, so I have no clue, ma'am. That's why I called, because it was kind of strange. It was kind of strange, this is kind of strange stuff, I mean, that, you know, that you would have stuff like this going on, I mean. That's why, you're saying this is already one year old computer, or how? Uh, yes, sir, based on the uh, information that I can see here, the warranty ends for the first 1327. So this is a year old computer then, it's out of warranty, and what I was going to ask you if you can... Okay. And what I was going to ask you also is, 
Yes, please go ahead. Okay, because now when it comes to the concerns that you have, um, you're trying to, uh, first of all, sir, we can only address the matters that are still in warranty. Okay? Also, don't you try to change the operating system, sir, um, look beyond our scope. So in regards to that, you have to contact a local technician already, sir. No, I, I have really failed to uh, hear uh, the last word you said. Uh, I got a little trouble, got to say, with the phone okay. here. The thing, yeah, please, sorry, go ahead. So what I'm trying to say, sir, is first of all, we can only assess the virus that is still in warranty. Yes, I understand. Um, I understand, ma'am, but please understand sorry. that, please understand, understand okay. that I did not know. Ma'am, uh, please uh, understand okay. that... I, please, uh, can I say, can I, uh, uh, please understand that I am a buyer of your product and did not know anything about what you are saying right now, okay? I did not know that this is a computer that is already a year old, that is out of warranty. I bought one as, almost as if computer would be new. This is how the computer was sold to me, and so I had no idea about this computer what the past about this computer was because the seller the store that have sold this product have guaranteed me that this is a, basically a new computer that this is the only thing that is with this computer is that this computer is just from the program renew uh, and this is just uh, controlled by legislation that this is just uh, if it's it's basically a new computer. If it's returned within a few days back to the manufacturer, that you guys repair this, and then again you guys resell this computer further. And so I had no idea about the stuff you're saying. Please understand that. I apologize that I did maybe take time away from you. I apologize for that matter. Could you please tell me something about this computer? Uh, is this model, is this like a normal thing that computer would not have like the only thing the computer would have would be like a Bluetooth radio controller. I mean, Windows 7 does have, um, uh, I mean, adapters, I mean, uh, drivers for cable. I mean, this is like a basic thing. I mean, and a computer like this would definitely not have an issue uh, installing such, you know, piece of software, I mean, okay. integrated inside, I mean, is this like a normal procedure, ma'am? Okay, so let me just explain for the process, okay? So, sure. your device, or original operating system, sir, it's Windows 10. Windows 10, right. you said? No. Yeah. It says... Original. No, 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 it says, according to the factory settings, that the original operating system is 8.1. And I even have a sticker. There is even a sticker on the laptop that states that. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. So yeah. So that's what I'm trying to say, sir. Okay. Um, it's the original operating system of your device is 8.1. Yeah. It's the original operating system. And all the drivers that you need with the original operating system, sir, it's available at support.lenovo. Com. Yeah. Okay. Now, since you tried to change the operating system of your device, yeah. Okay, with Windows 7, okay, yep. that is beyond our scope. Right. I completely okay. agree with you. So, my yes, recommendation, mm -hmm, my recommendation for you is for you to contact a local technician, or you can try going to an accredited repair center of Lenovo like Best Buy. Uh huh. But just pick up the application since on our end the device is out of warranty. So for them to assist you, there will be some charges involved. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I completely involve, uh, I mean, involve, sorry, I apologize. I completely understand that. I totally understand that. But, you know, then I was going to ask you, yes, like, uh, I mean, Windows 7, 64-bit, uh, Ultimate, uh, in reality, should not have really any issues with, uh, uh, with the drivers, I mean, with the LAN, with the Ethernet drivers, right? If I would install this on, on, on the laptop, I mean... What do you think, I mean, this, about this stuff, I mean, this is, 
It shouldn't have, right? Uh, I'm very apologize, but that is beyond our scope. So we cannot really assist you if you are already trying to change the operating system. No, 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 no. I'm not. I am not blaming you or asking you to for anything. Absolutely, I'm not. I, I do not. I am really thankful to you for your help, for your assistance. Uh, I did not know, obviously. I didn't have, I have no idea about this computer. is a year old computer. I had no idea about this, so I really, I am the one, I apologize to you. Uh, I just, I just want to ask you a question, I mean, if I were to install the, the Windows 7, which I did, uh, it, it should acknowledge, right, LAN Ethernet, right, it should do that stuff, though, I mean, that does make sense, right? So if you try to change the operating system, sir, okay, so obviously there should be some drivers on it. So if there's something missing, then of course there's an issue or there's a problem when you try to change the operating system. Right? That's the reason why I'm asking you to contact the local technician for them to check in for you. Okay. Okay. Um, thank you very much for your help and you have a great day, ma'am. Thank you very much. Uh, just one more question. I would... No, there really is nothing to ask. Uh, thank you very much. You have a great day. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for my answer. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Prosím. Ja, dobar dan, želim. Dobar dan. Uh, Gospodin Zvevo prašal o vezi a ne gre računalnik, ki jo prodajate. Ja, vidim, da imate tukaj Lenovo Z50, pa pa 75. Osim gigabajto entera, ja. Ja, kaj vas pa zanima? Veš, ka, veste, kaj me zanima. Zanima me, kaj le piše Renew, ne? Uh, kaj to pomeni na ta... To je, to je, to je najlažje razložiti tak, da v bistvu, če vi kupite, na primer, Big Bang-o, na primer, en prenosnik, pa ga prenesete domov, pa gotovite nekaj ne dela, se potem ga vrnete nazaj Big Bang, a Big Bang ga vrne dobovitev, dobovitev ga vrne uh, direkt fabrike, a ne, fabrika ga popravi in ga označi pod Renew, pa je, ga prodaja dalje. Se pravi, tole ni potem novo, ne, to je, to se rabi. Uh, je, to, to je novo, ne rabi naprema, lada je bila v porabi samo par dni, a ne. Ja. Pa se je vrnila, ne, zato, zato pa je možno, da ima kako pratiti tukaj, Uh, lahko tudi, da je bil razstavnik sto nato, ne. Aha, vi pa ne bi natančno vedel, ki je ta računalnik bil ali kje tazga, ne? Ne, zato, ker smo ga pač še kupili od uh, našega dobovitelja, ne, in to pa stojilo novo zadnje. Aha, zastopim. Da. Uh, ker je to, to se menuje refurbish, ne, če se nima čist. Ne, 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 ne. Refurbish je pa rabljeno prema. Ja, to... A to ni rabljeno? Ne, to je lahko, da je bil samo par dni v porabi, a ne. Renew, v bistvu pomenil refurbish, gospod, tu sem vas... Ne, 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 ne pomeni, zato ker to, oh, tako, kako me so najlažje, zato refurbish to prema je rabljena prema, Aha. ki je bila potem, ne vem, če je bila tip konca tako obrabljena, da se ni dala več uporabljati, se tip konca zamenja za drugo, isto baterija, a ne, in to pol pomeni refurbish, ampak tist rečnalnik je rabljen. Renew... Pa, pa ni glih tak, renju je pa to, če vam pravim, prenas je zakonsko 8 dni, da se upošteva, če je z prenosnikom oziroma začalniško prejmo neke narobe, Aha. Pa, se vrne, pa se vrne v 8 dni, A, ne? So vam, vam dajo kar drugo, ta se pa, ki pa bo neke narobe, zim se pa vrne proizvajalcev, ne, A, in ga so proizvajal, stopen. potem na svoje srste popravi. Kako je pa garanča pri tem renju. računalni, kako je pa to okej? Okay. To je malo, pa zelo samo prevedla. No, dejte, prosim. Razširce ga da na koliko, na enih 16 GB, ali kje tazga, RAM. 
Bomo zelo tako preverili. Aha, hvala vam. V ozadju, od prepo bomo kar videli. Aha, hvala vam. Nisem problem. Eno leto ima garancije. To se da tudi poveča, ki je garancijo, ali ki je ta zgodil? Pri temle, konkretno ne, pri temle se ne da, ker je pač v voci stoji, ne, za to. To je ameriški model, ameriški model je, a ne, in v Ameriki imajo le novo eno leto garancije in je to pa. Ta je prišel iz Amerike, ali kako? Tako. Tačne je z Amerike, ja. Tudi ta letitkovnica je ameriška ali kako? Ja, se pravi, US pa ta le ima sedemske naletke, mislim, da ni graviran. Aha, ne, v redu, nač, takole dejva, dejte mi ga poslati, prosim, ne? Kaj pa lahko uredima, na kateri naslov? Dejte napisati, boš tja na osec. Prosim. Ja, dobro večer, želim, dobro večer. Dobro večer. Veste, gospod, jaz sem vas poklical v zvezi prenosnika, katerega sem kupil pri vas, pod programom, kar naj bi šlo Renew program, Renew. In vidim, da ta prenosnik ni ravno Renew, ne? Mislim, to, kar ste vi omenil, kako je to v bistvu, da je to preno, preno... Ja, se spomnim, smo se zadnjič pogovarjali, pa se nekaj 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 potolje, a ne? Ja, ja. Če se spravo spomnim. Ja, ja. Res, prav se spomnite. Veste, klical sem v Lenovo, v ZDA. Ja. In so mi povedali, da je ta prenosnik že eno, več kot eno leto star. Ven iz garancij in tako naprej. Jo, no, pa tega vi meni niste ničesar omenil. Vi ste rekel, lejte, lejte, vi ste rekel, da je to renew, da je to zakonodaja, ki predideva v koliko dneh, dneh. Tako je pri nas, ja. Se to lahko, ja. Zdaj je kot delova. Ja, ne, mislim, in kaj pa tem, zakaj ste pa to lagal, mi takole, mislim. Se pa mislim, da pri nas je to tak, a ne? Prosim? Pri nas je to tako, da ponovali se ti artikli, pri da potem v renew program. No, tako, in zakaj, če je to pri nas, če je to pri nas tako, zakaj ste vi pol meni rekel, da je to renew pol? Kako je to, kako je potem, samo trenutek, kako je potem to renew, če ste ravno kar omenil, da je to pri nas tako? Pri nas je osem dnevni rok, za ameriški rok pa ne vem, a ne, kako je, ampak pri nas... A vi ne veste za ameriški rok, vi prodajate računalnike, dobite iz Amerike in pri nas v Sloveniji jih prodajate kot renew in vi tega ne veste, ker pri vas, pri nas, za pri nas, ki vi prodajate te stvari, vi teh stvari ne veste. A tako je to? Veste, veste, a je kaj narobe s pravnostnikom? Veste kako je, jaz se bom, jaz se bom bova rešila, ampak ne na tak način, ker vidim, da se ne morate soočiti z resnico, čist ko vam bom povedal. A je kaj narobe z prenosnikom? A je? Dajte mi vi povedati, a je? Da po moje ni. A po vašem ni? A to, že to, da lažete, po vašem ni narobe. To je že vse v redu. Kako povedate, pri čem, zakaj pravite, da lažem? V čemu pa ne lažete? Jaz sem vam povedal, da pri nas se šteje osemdnevni rok za te ova. Ja. Ja. To drži, drži? Ne, tega vi meni povedal, niste. To drži. Kar nadaljujete naprej? Kdaj? Kdaj ste povedal? Njo sem vam povedal, da ponavadi, ker je tako, gledajte, ni naben problem. Ni se pravi spletni nakup, če z nakupom niste zadovoljni, prema si tvrdnite, vam bomo nakazali kupnino. Ni nobenega problema, samo preko sodiščev in policije. Tako. Tako da, hvala lepa, prenostik boste dobil nazaj. Seveda, brez problema. Brez problema. Če ste zadovoljni z njim, vi ste pravite kot spletni nakup, a ne? Prosim? Maka, vi ste kot pravili spletni nakup. Spletni, spletni nakupi so ozakonjeni. In vi ste prekršili zakone. Prosite, vi ste zelo prekršili zakone. V zvezi s čem? V zvezi s čem ne. 
V zvezi, v zvezi začivnih niste prekršil, povejte vi men. Vi men odgovarjate. Mislim, da je bilo vse normalno. O, ok, v redu. Če vi mislite, da je bilo vse normalno? Ne, jaz veste kaj, jaz vas ne bom očil v zakonu. So drugi ljudje za te stvari. Dobar. No se pravi, jaz sem še enkrat vojem. Res pa ne mogo vrnete prenosni, če niste z njim zadovoljni, pa vam vrnemo kupnino. Ne. To mi pa vi povejte. Sem vam že povedal. Dobro. Kaj lahko potem vrnete prenosnik na Arjo Vas 102? Na Arjo Vas 102? Kaj pa je, kaj pa je na Ari Vasi 102? Poslovna nota, rajnik. Aha. Jutr se bomo glasil na policiji, pa bomo potem od tam naprej šli, v zvezi tega. Dobro, kaj se vi vidite? Ampak še enkrat podarjam, da lahko prenosim vrnete. Gospod, gospod, veste kako je, moj čas je predvsej dragocen. Tako vam bom povedal. Ne vem, kako je z vašim, ampak z mojim je tako. Tako da to je to, ok? Problemov sebi delal jaz zaradi takšnih ljudi, kot ste vi, ne bom. Če pa že čas moram zgubiti, potem ga moram pa nekako nazaj dobiti. Pa mi še lahko samo povedite, zakaj meni te des prenosnikov nekaj ne robe? Mislim, ali deluje, ali ne deluje, ali je v kakšni ukvarji, ali... Zato me zanima. Prenosnik, prenosnik je nastavno povedano, je prišel za Windows 10, nainštalirani gor, a tu sem vam še enkrat vam ponovil, odzadi je nalepka na računalniku, ki pravi 8,1, vi ste jih oglaševali kot 8,1, šrauf je preluknjen oziroma tist ščitek, tist pečatek ali kaj tisto je, tist papir, ki je gor tisto, od matične plašče je pretrgano, računalnik se ni mogel niti na internet preklopiti, računalnik, ko se nove Windows 7, ki gor ne inštalira, se ne more na internet preklopiti niti. Ne vem, kaj bi bilo, da ne bi bilo z njim narobe, mislim, ne vidim ena samo stvar. Druga stvar je pa ta, da računalnik je že eno leto star, rabljen računalnik je to. To ni nekakšen ko ste vi omenil, ravno sam ste omenil osem dnevni rok, ki bi ga nekdo, ki bi ga stranka vrnila nazaj v firmo in bi ga potem spet preprodali. In na tak način so ga meni vi prodal. Kako potem to ne more biti narobe? V osmi dnev je pri nas rok, ki se vrne, naprimer, pod prodavcem, naprimer, če bi ga vi kupili. Lejte, 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 a ste vi ga prodal kot renew ali ne? Ja, kot renew, ja. Ok, pa kaj vam je pol, mislim? A vi v Ameriki prodajete ali v Sloveniji? Ne, se to v Sloveniji. Kje prodajete? V Sloveniji? Ok, a so ameriški zakoni, samo trenutek, a so ameriški zakoni v Sloveniji ali so slovenski zakoni v Sloveniji? Po katerih zakoni se bi... Mislim pravnik. Niste? No, potem pa, veste kako je, veste kako je, vam bo pa, vam bo pa pravnik povedal kako kaj, jaz imam, jaz svoje možnosti vem, jaz svoje možnosti vem, vi svoje veste? Se pravi, nisem pravnik. Vi svoje veste? Pravim vam, gospod, da nisem pravnik. Niste, niste pravnik, v redu, jaz tudi nisem pravnik. Ja, to, dobro. Jaz so pravim, da lahko to vrnete brez problema. Jaz vem, kaj je lahko, kaj je lahko in kaj je težko. Tako da se bomo slišali glede tega. Hvala lepa, na svidenje. Hvala, na svidenje. I'm going to put it this way about this doktor, Mitya Weber, before I'm out of here. You know, this individual, he judged me, he came to this family somehow, through political connections, Because of me, really because of me, they needed somebody that they, the system could count on. And so they chose him, somebody who, can, who could be used for this kind of stuff. And that's how he met my niece. You know, what this individual did not know about me and my father is he likes to underestimate people. You know, 
podcenjuješ. In Slovenian language, rače podcenjuje. And so, you know, what he did, did not know about me is, he did not know anything, I guess, about the situation I was. So he was a young kid, and he knew nothing about my situation, why I went to America or something like this. But the main concern was that I didn't want to have a family in this house. And what I wanted to do is, I wanted to build the house for my family and take care of my family. Family always was to me number one thing, always. This is just the way I always was. But in this house, under this type of circumstances, no. And so you know what I did? There was there is not going to be the job for you, so fine, you know. I'm a flexible person. I'm a hard-working person. So I bought a ticket. I sold the car, whatever I had, everything I had. I bought a ticket, and I went to America. And so with this individual who underestimated me so much, who spit on me entire time, did not know is, well, actually, he was a really, he really is a maniac. This individual is mentally sick. Uh, when in America and here and so on and so forth, my niece suggested me, she gestured me, you're going to have a family, ha, 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 ha. But this is when you're going to get old, ha, 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 ha. This is the type of people, basically, we are talking about. Now, these people have two children, and they might become a good parents. I don't know. The children look good. The only thing I'm going to say is they don't deserve them. So, you know what? I believe that I still will have my family, but these two people are not going to have one because they're going to go behind the bars. And I do believe, honest to God, that these children they have deserve a better option, a better opportunity than to be uh, to grow up next to the garbage like this. I'm just going to put it that way. Uh, imagine, uh, comes after me to America to laugh, to literally laugh like a maniac in my face, do this shit to me, and laughs at me that, you know, uh, you are a good man, it's, everything is good with you, but you're just not going to have a family. You're going to have a family when you will be old, and you're never going to know what a family is, what it is like to have a wife and children and stuff like this. This is my niece. This is my niece, ladies and gentlemen. She works in health laboratory in Slovenia. This is what Mr. Borut Pahor, President Borut Pahor, gave her. Uh, as a reward for involvement against me. It's just totally outstanding. I almost failed to mention a few very interesting and important facts for the police. Law enforcement in Slovenia and law enforcement worldwide is watching this case and so on and so forth. This individual, this thug, this company owner, uh, you know, when he suggested that the worst that could happen to him, would he would lose the license, then he would use procedures to get another one and so on and so forth he said that of course would also could cause the problems for me and he life threatened me he suggested that then we could also do something to you and stuff like this if something would happen uh, another thing is uh, regarding the computer no it was not the only product everything i have gone out in the city and i have purchased basically was destroyed and no different was the case, no different was the case with Aldi, Hofer. I'm sure you have heard this is a big, big corporation. They have about 105,000 employees and almost about 6,000 shops, Poslovalnic in Slovenian language. Uh, it's a big, big store chain. Uh, I was even in the store in Minneapolis, in Minnesota, even in the US they had stores okay uh, no different it was no different uh, the product did not function um, people whom I have contacted uh, they have given me a hassle uh, have claimed that it was my fault and all kinds of stuff uh, it was almost uh, a real problem to even get the money back and when I finally got the money back uh, they would keep sending one to repair, to repair, to repair. Uh, and finally, when I got the money back, uh, 
when they, because of the stuff they have done to me, I, I really did record everything and I nicely, diligently, I stored everything, re receipts, everything I have stored properly. And so the last act uh, was when they gave me the money back, they, they tried to mug me the uh, my receipt for the merchandise which I have paid. All kinds of stuff. Then uh, the video is coming about company German conglomerate. It's it's like number one. It is the biggest one in the Germany. It's known as a uh, one and one. Oh, it's not only that you know the Germans mug me for the money which I have paid uh, when they tried to murder me here in two thousand and seven. The order came from Moscow, then I paid for the parts. The parts were ordered from the Germany, parts never came, went to the police station. The next thing you see was police start to harass me because I reported the missing case. The next thing you see, I filed a case against the police. Police lost the case against the court, against the Senate, which assembled with me at the police station. Instead of helping me out, they started to retaliate and they sent me psychiatrists and social workers to persecute me, to actually force me to run for my life to the U.S. Remember, I talked about that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, the Germans just mugged me. They just took the money from me. Frau Merkel did. You know, the relationship between the German and Russia is a big, big relationship. Yeah, it's a big one. It's a big cooperation. Criminality is what it is. The next thing I had to run to the U.S., stolen the money from me, and <laughs> um, the same situation was with the company A1 and 1. Uh, that's basically when I purchased the uh, domain, internet domain. You know, this is like almost your name. What's your name? My name is, you know, my name. When you purchase the domain, this is basically your name on the internet, the name of your, of your company, the name of your news site, Ausser Times. They mug me that too. They have stolen that from me. And then what they would do is, I don't know if they have resolved that to other or not, they would use that basically to harass me. Uh, it's basically totally everything that I have done, uh, practically everything they have used to basically destroy me to mug me, to whack me, to anything you want to call this. So this case is a whole a big case, it's a whole of a lots of like giant corporations involved in it. But the beautiful thing about it is not only small thugs like this here, the beautiful, the beautiful thing about it is that I actually have proofs about it. And yeah, on the next video, what we're going to talk about are going to be Slovenian telephone providers. Uh, I believe that, yeah, uh, I can say that when it comes to the telephone providers and my situation, we can say that it's not a coincidence that the stuff like what you are about to see have, have happened as well. We're just going to talk about my life and you're going to see that pretty much everywhere, whatever I have done, uh, you know, what can I say? Thanks for watching this video. Till next time. Uh, just uh, in case you didn't know, uh, Aldi Hofer, yeah, this is the company we're talking about. This, I'm sure you have seen this. And we're talking about this thing here. This is another German conglomerate. When it comes to uh, internet in Germany and also worldwide these are uh, big players that will not even allow me to have my name on the internet imagine this they just want to delete me like they have tried to delete me many times